start of our cricket week in what is effectively our brand new pavilion okay fantastic I think this time last year when we had our cricket week we had no idea that this is what we we're going to be standing in this year so fantastic for us we're hoping of course for a very dry week because that will ensure that we have good takings uh, on the bar and some great games of cricket so welcome to everybody uh, but uh, particularly to Sarah, Sarah Taylor, who, as you know, plays for England. And she's taken time out along with her parents and her good friend, Georgia. Georgia? Georgia Elmsworth. Yeah, wherever Georgia she is. Elmsworth, yeah. Give us a shout. There we go. Give us a wave. There we go. Over there. We've come along uh, to do our official opening of our Cricket Week for what is going to be a fantastic time. I'll just pass over to Brian, our president, who has a few words to say. So, My name's Brian Fullshed. <laughs> tell you a little bit more about Sarah but first of all we've got two England players here today Sarah Taylor and Georgia Elwes. Big round of applause to Georgia. Yeah. Now Sarah comes over as being very natural and very normal but I'm going to embarrass her now. <laughs> Sarah is one of the best women cricket players in the country and in the world, in my opinion. Uh, she's uh, described as being an explosive batter with a well-organized technique. She's played many times for England at all three formats, and she's had a great deal of success. In the T20, she averages 30. In the One Day Internationals, <laughs> she averages 40. And uh, she was the youngest um, female player to score 1,000 runs in one day cricket, so that's anybody in the world. She also, for the Australians present, uh, she holds the record score <laughs> of 120 against the Australians in a one day game, and that was at a runner ball, Simoa. <laughs> now she was also, um, in 2013, she was the T20 World Cricket Player for females, so a fantastic achievement. Yes. There's quite a few wicket keepers uh, present, some very good wicket keepers here today. I'm the 14 keeper for Lever Stuck Um I took two catches and a stumping last Saturday. We lost by 85 runs. <laughs> <laughs> but um, 
we've got some very good keepers here today, but in my opinion, um, Sarah Taylor is one of the best wicket keepers I've ever seen, men or women. She's a fantastic wicket keeper, she really is. She stands up to some really pacey bowling and is very neat and tidy. Uh, I saw Sarah play uh, cricket in 2012 in Sri Lanka on our tour there and she kept wicket and batted against New Zealand in the semi-final and she played in the world final against Australia in Colombo which is a great game. We needed four to win off the last ball and tragically somehow we didn't make it so <laughs> Australia won that one. And then last, uh, <laughs> last year we had uh, an epic test series against the Australians um, there was different formats of the, uh, of the series and Sarah played at Wormsley, uh, John Paul Getty's uh, famous ground and uh, I, I watched her play there and she scored 38 not out and batted the Australians out of it in the second innings so that was very nice to see. So um, Sarah is described as being one of the finest talents to emerge in the England team in recent years. So would you please welcome to the Holistic Green Creek Club, Sarah Taylor. On a sad note, the, the one cricket week that I've missed was 1996, I was in Canada and uh, my dear friend Clive Rutt actually died during that game, during the President's game, he had a massive heart attack. Clive always said to me that he wanted to go actually running a quick single but he actually went keeping wicket for us <laughs> and he, he went at the same age as I am today so that's why I'm not keeping wicket today. <laughs> <laughs> but Clive, Clive would be want to be with us today, there is a plaque in Clive's honour and the match is a memorial match for Clive Rutt and there is, guys, a big trophy to be presented. The President's team have won it for the last three years, so no pressure on Leverstock Green. <laughs> um, we've had some very famous people um, in the cricket club, famous cricketers, apart from Sarah and Georgia. Um, people that have played here have been Dennis Compton, Bill Edrich, John Snow, uh, John Murray, and in more recent years, Mike Gatting's played here, he scored one run. <laughs> Not a long run, towed it. <laughs> uh, and also Mark Eilert, left arm quickie from Essex, and in more recent years, one of my former pupils, another Palmerton's boy, uh, Stephen Finn, played here. He bowled uh, five overs, north for 35, and then scored 120 when he batted. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and at the end of this week, like Steve said something about the, um, the clubhouse, it has been a labour of love, it has been a tough time over the last three years, but we're almost there now with the clubhouse. And uh, Mike Gatting is going to, come to officially open the clubhouse at the end of the week. <coughs> but I, I'd like to, to ask um, Sarah Taylor to unveil the plot which we have. This very special plot. This plot. It's a very special cricket week, and I believe very strongly it's the dawn of a new era for Leverstock Green Cricket Club. So would you do the honours, please? Yeah. 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 So just put it off. Just put it. Now, I just want to say thank you very much for having me. Um, I looked actually at a schedule um, of this week and there's a little bit more emphasis on the evenings, probably than the great. <laughs> so that's a good club for me and um, Brian, I think you pretty much reeled off Wikipedia. <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much. A beautiful clubhouse, probably one of the better ones I've seen, and I hope you have a fantastic week. So thank you very much for having me. Okay, let's get playing, guys. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Well, just hair. On the next then, yeah. Oh, that's. You, you told me you want to replace it in six years' time, do you? 
Okay. So just bend, bend further forward. 